an issue today, as anybody knows, reading any news sources, is that the country is suffering a lot of problems. There's a tremendous amount of poverty. There's a tremendous amount of cutback in programs that help people. And there's a tremendous amount of money going to the top and not helping all the people at the bottom. So a project was developed at the neighborhood level because the neighborhood is a nuclear unit of government as, the, as, a, as a family, as the nuclear unit of society. So starting in neighborhoods, grassroots, bottom up, all inclusive, all democratic process has been developed. It's a two-step process. The first step is to go in and understand the problems in the neighborhood and the issues. And after that has been accomplished, look at what can be affected. So for a poor neighborhood in San Francisco, a total of 1.3 million was created to help the neighborhood. Um, and in this neighborhood, we're talking about seniors and those um, affected by alcohol and by drug addiction and the mentally ill. So this money was freed up in a budget of a nonprofit to be able to take care of the clientele better as opposed to having pay core expenses. Additionally, um, we just passed a hundred thousand that have been fed the best food that money can buy. So you're providing nutrition, you're providing funds, and we're in the process now of creating jobs. And that's what this neighborhood needed. So in each neighborhood, we go into them, and we're now in more than one. Um, we go in, we create the research to understand the problems. We affect the problems, and then the second team comes in and educates the neighborhood on how these issue problems came about and who's responsible. This research is absolutely cast in concrete. It has to be very factual. There can't be a bias towards anybody. These have to, facts have to stand on their own and not be able to be pulled apart by anybody. And this creates a like-minded group of voters and a like-minded group of thinkers that then can represent the neighborhood to the city in the way that they feel is best and not be acted upon as a lot of our poor neighborhoods have been in cities across America. And we create opportunity once this education process is completed and we have an educated group of thinkers on how their problems came about. We create jobs, we look at the assets in the neighborhood, how better we can improve life in the neighborhood so the neighborhood becomes empowered, secure, and confident to be able to move forward and represent themselves properly to the city, to the government in general, and to any other forces, could be contractors, developers, wishing to develop the real estate and move the poor folk out and develop it for the uh, profitable gain. That's not what this is about. This is to help take care of the people that are in the neighborhoods now, not what could come in the future as you know the demographics are changed. So towards that end, we have a couple universities in the San Francisco Bay Area that are being spoken with now, and we're in the discussion processes of receiving help with the projects. We additionally have a nonprofit that's affected hundreds of towns across America by being invited in to write laws that correct situations that are affecting the community. Additionally, we have technology from Silicon Valley that we plan to have the neighborhood vote on people that have ideas for companies they want to start, and we can wrap this technology around them that connects them to legal functions, sales, marketing, so they have a fully functional company uh, where there was none before, just an idea. So this thereby, again, creates confidence and security and the idea that there's hope and the ability to move forward uh, with a better life than what some of these neighbors have experienced. And it's not just the poor neighborhoods, because neighborhoods in all levels are dealing with problems that can be corrected if the neighborhood works together in a unified way, if the assets of the neighborhood are cold and these assets are turned into opportunities and utilized to better life in the neighborhoods. It's an extensive program. Uh, a lot of the neighborhoods have programs that affect particular areas, but from the experience uh, realized to date, what we're seeing is 
there's an over overarching plan that pulls together all the nonprofits and community-based organizations and faith-based organizations and all the other assets that each neighborhood has and work towards creating this overarching plan that directly results in the neighborhood being affected in a major way. Uh, let's not be mistaken here, these groups have done a great job and have all addressed their situations tremendously. But of course there's more that can be done and there's more that can be put together to help empower the neighborhood and have the neighborhood be able to stand up on its own two feet and represent itself properly to the city, to the corporations, and to other government and non-governmental organizations.